So, na die juniors, na die tyd vir die seniors, die motorfietse en die quads en ook die motors, voor in die kampioenskap Henk Wester en Annie Griesel, en wat gaan hulle taktiek wees? Uh, ach, ons gaan maar vir die begin, maar bykie starig vat is twee rondes, en uh, dan kyk ons maar eers hoe loop die route, en daar vanaf sal ons nou bykie vinniger gaan met die tweede ronde. Waar gaan die competitie vandaan kom? Uh, wel, so ver op die stadium tussen die eerste drie bakkies. Het is in die rie ES6, T45 en ons E14. Het uh, is waar die grootste competitie op die stadium leid. Ons punte is bijna bij elkaar. Weer eens die wegspring in die kampioenskaps volgorde. Bester en Griesel, die antwoordcamera daar. En dit is soos het lijk uit die stier kan jy uit uit. Die klomp en snel race daar saamgedrom. En uh, Frank, het lijkt makkelijk in die begin moet ek sê, maar ek is seker die toestanden van bykie verander, soos het ons verder gaan. Die toestand op die baan is eindelijk heel lekker geweest. Goed gemerkte baan, uh, baie sanderige area, maar uh, alhoewel ons gelijk dat of daar baie reen is, nie soveel reen op die baan op die hoofd lekker. Nee. So, baie belangstelling in die competitie daar in die voorbeen? Ja, ek het gehoor, het gaan baie vinnig wees. Ons het nou nie so baie spoed op ons bakkie nie, so ons hoop nou maar als draaien op wat ingesluit is by die rally. En um, ons gaan maar net met jaag vandag is al. Ons is twee punte achter, ons het bykie so slechte gelip gehad met die babberspang. Ek hoop vandag is ons lak bykie beter. En ek geloof dit sal goed gaan met ons. Um, en ons moet maar net wen vandag. Ons moet wen vandag, daar is nie twee dinge daar oor. Well, I think that's probably the objective for just about everybody. This is the uh, Land Cruiser of Tiki Labuskakni and Rikus Erasmus. Probably also one of the favorites to uh, take this victory here today and once again we go on board this is great stuff i just love this uh, frank just to see exactly what the what the crew on board can see ons kan nie so sien dat die uh, terrein nie te, te rof is nie as ons nou in acht neem die suspensie wat die land cruiser daar loop uh, ons camera spring nie te veel rond nie en uh, ja fake visuele beeld is so as 'n deelnemer En wat, wat gaan die gedagtes as jy klomp toeskouwers op een punt sien? Jy weet die kom moeilijkheid, denk ek. Hier is aksie, moet nie een fout maak nie. Jan van Aert en uh, Jakko van Aert en uh, die Janko. Ja, dit is pa en sien wat daar saam rijk. Dit uh, Moorman en Fensham, nummer 1-6, aha. Het lijkt my hier is aksie in die voorpunt as uh, Pikkie en Rikus al nader en nader kom aan uh, Bester en Griesel. En Henk geef vir hom pad, hy sê vir hom Ja, hy maak vir hom pad, dit is, uh, dit is um, op hierdie vlak van sport, is daar oh, oh. een gentleman agreement. Oh, oh, verkeerd gegaan daar, verkeerd gegaan, en hy verloor daar die plek onmiddellik weer. Dit is wanneer die adrenaline nou bykie te vinnig werk, en die navigator uh, miskien nou nie ja. eentemal op sy nood as is. Jy het nie die draaisirkel wat jy graag wil hee daar nie, so hy moes een groot i draai gaan gooi, voordat hy uh, weer kon verder aangaan. Jan en Jakke van Aert, daar dier die uh, modder, Ja, hulle leen natuurlijk, hulle is baie uh, ernstige competeerders in die klas B-kategorie. This is a little class E, uh, uh, Toyota Hilux, Limmer en Lange. And we go back to the uh, special vehicles. X, uh, S16, Graham Thornton in the uh, Nashua Mobile Sandmaster. What is the difference, Frank, between class S and class B? As ons hierdie twee karre nou kyk van Jan van Aert en Thornton, is daar eindelijk nie twee veel verskil nie, maar in, uh, in die klas B kan hulle um, wishbone suspensie voor haar loop, maar in klas S moet dit een trailing kombi type suspensie of beetle suspensie wees. And you can see that suspension working very hard there. As we go to Hendrik van der Linden and Flip Vessels in the Land Cruiser, number T27. And now you can really see the speed aerial pictures, courtesy of Garth Hobson in his microlight and cameraman Dylan Stradon. Andre Vermeulen and Wenzel Pretorius in the AC Special. You can see they built it themselves, I think. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the uh, efforts to make uh, the cars lighter and, and, and uh, more durable on these technical terrains. Father and son, Harold and Tian Kun in their Land Rover, followed by Jay Mitchell and Jay Jaber in their Sandmaster. Now that's a, still a Class C class a car where they limited to the engine capacity and the amount of shocks. This is, in fact, one of uh, the old Neil Woolridge Ford, uh, which they campaign, campaigned a couple of years ago very successfully on the National Series. Alfred and Tommy van Vieren behind the wheel there, or in the cockpit rather. And uh, here's another one of the uh, special vehicles, Guido de Mare and Thierry Heck, their race go, followed by Flip, von, uh, Flip Velman and Paul Marie in their RTV, and I'm sure RTV stands for Rough Terrain Vehicle or something similar to that. Also a very nice concept car with the engine actually mounted in front, not that common on the space frame cars. Frank Engelbrecht and Willem van der Linde in their race car, number A33. 
everybody very carefully negotiating that obstacle on the road. And here's another interesting car, Johan de Klerk and Al Pretorius in there. That looks like a backyard special, to be honest, but it's still, it's certainly working. And now the chance of the senior bikes and quads to take to the start. This is a really healthy field. You see a huge number of competitors there, everybody in good spirits. This should be very interesting and nice and competitive, uh, Frank. Yeah, the bikes are growing in numbers on the Northwest Series, and we can see this out of the century. Yeah. And the spectators have increased as well. Johan Visser on his Yamaha leading the field there. Next to him was Brian Bader. And one of the reasons for their healthy field is that the uh, national that would have taken place this weekend has been cancelled. So therefore, a lot of the uh, guys opted to come out here and take part in, uh, in this. Oh, it looks like a bit of a jump start there. Uh, it's uh, Christy van der Meshtenie. His uh, bike almost jump starts him off <laughs> onto the dirt there. But a uh, nice piece of uh, bike control. 362, that's uh, Brian Bader, or Bader, on his KTM. Johan Visser, there he is, so he's been passed on his Yamaha. And this was uh, Antony Nell, followed by Johan Leroux on his Yamaha. Now, these are the uh, serious competitors. These guys go as hard as they possibly can. Yeah, yeah we can also see, uh, still as cautious as what we saw earlier with the juniors, um, but the terrain changing now dramatically, being worked out by the cars already. Yeah, the trouble is that they've got to follow in the tracks of, oh, there's somebody with a rear wheel problem. That's Michael De Beer on his KTM, and that looks like a pretty serious puncture, and you can't just, like on a, a, a bicycle, take the wheel off and put another one on. <laughs> I mean, that's it. It's, it's, it's finished for you. No, he's done for the day. Uh, there we've got two for two uh, Dylan Inks, one of the junior riders, ex-junior riders, that is now competing on the national, regional and national series. Christopher Gomez coming through. And uh, we see... Well, these guys are all taking it easy, but as we said earlier on, it's uh, it's a pretty dangerous um, obstacle, this, so they have to get be stopped uh, and set off again. But uh, otherwise, yeah. The marshal having a, a hectic job there with uh, the riders now being followed close one upon each other. Jochen Spotgitter just gone through there. He's uh, followed by Freddy Kennedy. Again, uh, Jochen Spotgitter uh, having raced the junior race a little bit earlier, now onto a one to five. So some of them do both. On the juniors, there's an overlap on the uh, on this particular regional series. The senior quads now doing their final preparations, and so good to see a well-known face from the past. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, I've been back from uh, 2004. Uh, I started with Bombardier in 2005, won the senior championship for them. And this year I decided to take it a bit slow and just do the regional events, which I am now leading the senior class and second overall. Uh, who's going to be chasing you in this event? Uh, yeah, there's a, young, uh, there's a couple of young guys behind me that was, uh, that's really very fast. And uh, I'm sure there's at least five or six guys uh, that will be chasing me. Yeah. All set for the start there. 101 is Jack Ripp. He's on a Honda. And uh, he's the younger brother of the man who will start next, Peter Breit, on his Bombardier. And these two are really locked into a championship battle. Hello, Hartlop, all two, first and second in that category. Karel Groenewald, following up his Yamaha, number 326. It's unbelievable how popular quads the last couple of years have This is not so much more difficult to ride. I have to be self now on a quad. And uh, yeah, this is great sport. Jacques Breit, clear there. There's uh, Peter Breit. And here is the former national champion Christo van der Merwe on his Bombardier. It's really good to see him again, and it's good for the sport, so it's good that the men are in play. The men, the younger ones, when we look at the juniors, and so, look up to these men, and they won the winner always, you know, where is that old one? And yeah, this is a move that they have to come back. Sampe Ungerer on his Honda, he's come there so. He's followed by Jackie Verljoen. And 1, 3, 4 is Damien Lee, he's also on his Honda. As uh, sterk betrokkenheid van Borge, vooral op die nationale vlak, maar ook hier op streeksvlak, Frank. Ja, hier zien ons vooral uh, ATV Passport en Speedquad wat uh, sterk voor te komen. Uh, ons het nog een of twee andere uh, spanne vlak racing en zo so weer. So, dit is belangrijk dat die ons, die, die ons gemoedens is goed als hulle vir een span kan rijden. Duim in die lucht daar, die mense geniet het op die oomlik al buiten in die veld. It is uh, competitive, but they're also doing it for fun. 
327, that's Frank Grunewald from his Suzuki, and here's one of the ATV Powersport guys. Yeah, Kobus is one of the main owners of ATV Powersport. Terug naar die, uh, naar die bakkies en die speciale voertuigen. Hier is Moorman en Fensham in hulle Hilux. Op het IS-6. Klip hard aan die rij daar. So en aan boord weer eens saam met uh, Labus Kachni en Erasmus in die Land Cruiser. En uh, hulle lijkt na uh, of hulle in een stevige positie kan eindig as hulle so voortgaan. Ja, dit lijkt nie as hulle te ver uh, achter uh, IS-6 is nie. En uh, ek geloof hulle gaan hard probeer om die oukies op te, uh, in te haal daar so. Mensen wonen dat hoe weer die ouders waarom te rijden. Wat hulle moet doen is hulle moet zeker maken dat die oranje merken kies in die bosse en in die, uh, in die bome aan hulle linkerkant blijven. Aan de linkerkant en daar is ons een dubbel merken wat daarom wij kan draaien. E14, beste in Griesel, they started at the head of the field, dropping back slightly at the moment in their Hilux. Seemingly with some problems. Here's one of the, uh, of the uh, national squad, uh, the Nissan hard body of Ferreira en Kotze. Maar net om terug te komen naar die merken, wat ik ook interessant vind in, uh, in veldrennen is dat een groen Merkerkie betekent eigenlijk geen toegang. Als je een groen merker ziet, moet je weet je iets verkeerd. Ja, dat is je eindelijk je helemaal op je strijdig met ons patriots. Nee. Ja, inderdaad. Anders is wat de mensen verwachten. Die van der Linden Wessels Land Cruiser, bezig om in te halen op die oppositie daar. Ja, en uh, E13. Hier. Dat is Henny Limmer in, in Lange. Kom nou bij uh, controlepunt aan in Helle Hilux. De klas E, dit is basis standaard, standaard moet, is niet waar. Vieselende motor. Um, Basis suspensie, ja. Hier is die Suze wat ons net uit die lucht heeft gezien het, die Hatting paar. En dat is ongelooflijk, die snelheid wat hier ons recht rijdt op, op die langer recht iets stukken. Ja, daar zou dit nou niet gelijk als of het bijna hastig is. Mm. Zo'n mens wonderen wel iets voor, met, die, met die voertuig markeert. Kraai en kraai, Jan en Jan, senior en junior. En luister naar hierdie Ford, Alfred en Tommy van Vuren in die Ford. 5 liter V8 engine. V8 klinkt maar net te lekker. En uh, vader en son, once again, Harold en Tian Koen in their Land Rover. That's the ex uh, Cliff Barker Land Rover, if I'm not mistaken. The one that used to have the uh, BMW engine, doesn't have one now. Uh, this is Milan and Pretorius in their AC Special. And then we've got another class E car, Herzog Prinsloo and Arthur Bester. There's a Hilux, Volk Deer, and Funny Specials. And I can't even do a number out of that. This is what Mulder on the car do. <laughs> Make all the numbers unlesbar. Well, here in Velman and Maria in the RTV, number A64. And look at this. There's a little uh, sandmaster of Van Gesselen and Kruger. A very fast going uh, Nissan there, the uh, Schall and Willem van Aswegen Nissan. Uh, yeah, we've got the old Toyota Fred that was previously raced by uh, Cassie Kutzi. Oh, Cassie's old Fred, right. Marcel and Etienne de Toy in the Hilux. This was also a Toyota, Brits and Pretorius, and here is number F17. Jaapi Schutte and Willem Vosloo. And that's a Ford V8. I thought that sounded like a Ford V8. Tippy Janssen van Rensburg and Fanny Smith in a Ford, and here's another Land Cruiser, Jori Swanepoel and Willy Bester. Seems like Toyota is the most popular brand in off-road racing. Look, being one of the brands the longest time uh, competing in off-road racing with so many for cars, there are a lot of older cars that have come from National Series into the Regional Series. You saw the little Baja, Baja bug there of Mick Westays and Keith Solomon. This is the Ford of Dean and, uh, Dion Nell rather, and uh, Eugene Fisser. That is also a vehicle that was built many moons ago. Just like this one. I believe there's a lawyer behind the wheel in this car. Back to two wheels, number 50, Johan Visser on his Yamaha. I have him uh, heading for second position at the moment. They're in amongst the motor cars, which, uh, which makes things uh, pretty comp uh, complicated at the moment for them. 362 is uh, Brian Barder on his KTM. And yeah, I think the potential leader at the moment, Reynald Kleinans on his Yamaha. Followed closely by Owen Warren on his KTM. Big battle between Yamaha and KTM in off-road racing in South Africa. 403, Roger Crispin on his KTM. Chased there by Reinders Basson. All of these inside, potentially inside the top six. Christian van der Mest on his Yamaha. Frank coming at any time. <laughs> uh, we can see the dust uh, being uh, thrown up by the cars, making it difficult for the bikes to get past. Jan Potgieter, uh, the junior rider on the 1 to 5, yeah? Okay, doing well too, mixing it with the top guys there. Ron Bailey. Uh, one of the other old hands at uh, off road racing. Ronald Fenter on his Kawasaki 151, followed by 219 Marius Fenter, another Kawasaki. None of them stopping at we the stop street. We see the same we problem, need to yeah. <laughs> point that out, I think. Uh, a lack of uh, marshalling, some oaks attempting to stop, other people not even attempting. Christopher Gomez there 
on his team, followed by his teammate Ken Plesher, who unfortunately would not finish this event. He's from uh, the Mafeking area. And problems there, it seems, for uh, Gert van der Berg on his Kawasaki. Uh, he's concerned he's got a flat wheel, doesn't look like it. Uh, again, the terrain may be giving him his misperceptions on his traction. Because they know, as we saw early on, that's it. Puncture, you're out of it. Uh, you're yeah. right, Duplessis. Another youngster, actually only uh, his first year on uh, part of the season on the 125 now. Reynard van Wijk on his Yamaha. We are at the stop street and they all ignore it. That's a brief look, left and right, and let's go. Aha, uh -huh. close together. Yanni Kroesar, number 70, uh, 755 Yamaha. Christopher Muller, another Yamaha, number 56, chasing each other there. This is what makes things uh, rather interesting out there in the bush, I would say. Yeah, and it's nice to have a dice, in, you know, in front of you or behind of you that uh, sort of pushes that adrenaline further. And here's another few riders close together. We saw Johandre Jacobs go through Luke Skuman. Luke Skuman, that is. Juan Bester. And... Uh, this is Gert Roselt, I think, on his, uh, on his Suzuki. Yeah, number, number nine. Interesting way of greeting the cameraman. As we go to the uh, final stages of the quad race, Jock Riet on his ATV Power Sports Honda, leading the field there ahead of his brother Peter on his uh, speed quad Bombardier. And in third position, Carlo Grunewald on his Yamaha. These guys are really fighting it out right out there um, in the bush. Sampi Ungra, Christopher Namarve, in fact, we saw there's Sampi Ungra coming through as well. And uh, that was him. Here's Yaki Filyun on his Bombardier going very wide there. They are pushing right to the end. Now, by the flag of competition has been the ultimate. There is no one back. And we have a great competition between the Borgen, the speed quad and ATV Pelsburg. André Boota for Polaris, for Dierkom. Voor hem was het Rian van Seil en Damien Lee. Hier is uh, Isaac Smit. Zijn bombardier. Leon Muller op een Yamaha, nummer 51. Ja, we zitten allemaal geleerd om op de groep op in, in en diezelfde plek. Het is het enigste uh, lichaamsgedeelte wat je kan wijzen op dat stadium. <laughs> Ik denk die hebben de handen van die straat al afhangen. Inderdaad. 437 was Johan de Bruin. Hier is François van der Wald. Hij is op een Yamaha. En nu is het Neil Meijer op een Banshee. Ja, wat baie jare terug baie populair is in die handen van Wiekes van Deverter en uh, nou nog uh, Jaak Sirwig op die National Series. Hoesman rui hem nog steeds. Johan uh, Stols, nummer 224 op sy Yamaha. En hier is Benny Dumini, 007 op een Yamaha. Louis Bota op een Suzuki. En dit is die einde van die motors. Het is een wedren voor die dag. Hier komen uh, Bowman en Fensham in. En daar verloor hij zijn wiel net voor <laughs> die vlaggie valt. Henk Bowman met uh, drie wielen oor die streep daar, maar dat maakt die zaak niet. Hij heeft die ding gedoen. Het is duidelijk dat hij al een hele rakkie met die papwiel rij en niet bereid was om te stop en zijn plek prijs te geven. Bevestiging daarvan, Hein Bowman en Cecil Fensham en de Toyota. Kijk naar al die Toyota's daar onder die top 10. Takela Biskachny en Rikus Erasmus, tweede gevolg hier Hendrik van der Linde in Flip Vessels. Nou, de special vehicles. And first across the line, Graham Thornton in the, uh, Nashua, the Nashua Mobile Sandmaster. Taking the honors there, ahead of the uh, father and son team of Jan and Jan Kraai, another Sandmaster. Followed by Hen André Vermeulen and Vincent Pretorius in the AC special. And in the bike category, Johan Visser on his Yamaha crossing the line first, ahead of Veynan Kleinans on yet another Yamaha. But the result would reflect something different. Yeah, he come on gecorrigeerde tijd uh, ter sprake, weer die positie waar hij weggetrek het, en nu die positie waar hij uh, klaar gemaakt het. So, die uh, totale tijd, en dit betekent dat Veynan Kleinans die oorwinning behaal daar oor Johan Wiese, Owen Warren. Met, met een skrale 18 seconden is daar so teen oor uh, Johan Wiese. Wees jy net hoe nabe dit was. Owen Warren in derde plek, gevolgd door Brian Bader. And in the quads, Jack Breed on the ATV Power Sport Honda gets the uh, victory there and on elapsed time, even though no nobody was close to him across the line, the gap was only four seconds to Karl Grunewald and uh, Marius van Heerden in third position. Jan de Bruin, Kobus Barnard and Jackie Fluden complete the top six. Rapid Motion would like to wish Dylan Stradom and Garth Hobson a speedy recovery after the accident on this event. The Bush to Bush Challenge was proudly brought to you by Stella Biersfiers and its associate sponsors. With